a man that was standing in front of me. I was sitting down and he had his hands placed out and there was energy coming from it. The energy turned into stars and as it was going into my body. Next I saw a man's face that, and this was kind of scary, it startled me. It was a, a face that was in 3D, but it had images or hieroglyphs all written all over the face. And it was, he was talking, but I couldn't hear or understand what he was saying. Um, that scared the crap out of me. Um, <laughs> mm. After that, <clears throat> I saw an image of people. They looked like they were getting ready to pose to take a picture. They were all gathering together. And I take it, it was family. I didn't know any of them, but they were all getting together so they could take a picture. Um, then I saw a face. It looked like a skeleton. It was green, and it had... Um, skeleton like an alien skeleton and it opened its mouth and on its tongue was a baby a green alien baby and it just looked at me and smiled and it went back in the mouth <laughs> and closed right. um, after that I saw you with a group of students and I was kind of in back and I heard a lady I couldn't see her but she was telling me some things will only be revealed in time, as I was watching you and the students. Whatever, I, I don't know what that meant. Mm -hmm. And that night, I had a dream that someone did a, a death ritual on me. So I don't know, <laughs> that was kind of weird. Now the second attunement- Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. You had a dream that someone did a death ritual on you. What exactly does that look like? It's and how did you know that it was death? That's what it was. That's what it said in my dream. There were there was a red ball and a blue ball, and it had words written on it. And someone else in the dream told me someone did a death ritual on you. Okay. And that's all I remember from the dream. Okay. So I don't know if that was connected to the attunement, but I've never dreamt that. What gods? What gods um, are you consciously connected to that you can say that you are? Goddess Isis. Um, Haru, um, Sekhmet, and Lord Toth. Okay. I noticed that you said Isis. Goddess Isis. Aset. Aset. Okay, let's, yes. say, let's say Aset mm -hmm. from now on. And what do you do to connect with them? How are you connected with um, them? I meditate. Um, pretty much meditate and speak with them. On okay. a daily basis. I've, I'm doing altars now and ancestor money. Okay. So do you have statues of them on your altar? Not yet. I want one. And I was planning on getting one this weekend. Okay. So I, I just want to give you some advice. You need to have the spiritual protection of, I want you to choose two gods, male and female, that you will serve. And when I say serve, it means literally to connect with them and make offerings to them and research them, read about them and invite them to Lord over your life. A lot of humans don't have gods that they're consciously connected to. And this is why a lot of times people suffer. The, I wanna tell you also before I let go of this information, Hodeus, H-O-D-E-U-S is a being that you're connected to and he's from Alpha Centauri. If you look up the constellation of Alpha Centauri or the planets within that region, he is connected to that and you are a star child from there. When I did the attunement, I kept getting like a tingling sensation in my spine. I didn't know what that was. It's your Kundalini. Um, Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. And then um, for the recording, um, I was in ancient Kemet. Um, I was told that there, that I know about the, the very tip, like the apex, the, the top part of the, of the pyramid. What, I know about it. I don't know anything about it. They keep saying that I know about it. You the know about shaft it. shaft and the capstone and it's, yeah. 
Okay. The information is in you. Um, and then also I was standing in a room um, around four statues, I guess, of gods and goddesses. Um, and every time I will look, so it will be pitch black, and every time I will look, all of the light will be focused on that particular individual at the time. And um, every time I look at them, they will smile. So when I turn uh, counterclockwise, they will all just smile at me. But I, I will only be able to see them, but nothing else. Everything will be pitch black. Um, and then um, for the second second attunement, um, I was held at gunpoint. Um, I had a, it was a high powered gun. It was green, like really bright green. Um, and then I was um, in a room full of um, Asian descent descendants, um, and I was crowned admiral. And they told they gave me a um, a, a Buddha, you know that little cat. And it goes like that Flat with the ball. Yes. Yeah, I was mm -hmm. given that, and then I woke up. So what, what you're being invited to do is to get one of those fat cats and put it upon your altar. Okay. And a lot of people think that, that you know they don't have <clears throat> a real ability, but they do. So your ancestors are inviting you to put that on your altar, and also they're requesting that you send the ancestor money as well. And that acknowledgement, right, and to continue to do that, they're acknowledging through the fat cat they are ushering finances and abundance into your life. Abundance is not always with money. Sometimes um, we don't allow ourselves to see abundance as everything that's good within our lives, whether it's quality of relationships, health, homeostasis, balance, clarity. All of these things are abundant. And they're always around us. But because a lot of times people think a certain way, you block those forces from being able to hug you and show you things. Okay. Pass me time enough to see you through. How the joys of love I'll give to you. Hey